This is the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. The Rolex waiting list, the Rolex gray market, and Rolex timepieces in general are like legendary creatures within the watch industry. Beyond the different stories and speculation, what do the numbers tell us about Rolex waitlists? In today's video brought to you by the luxury world, we will analyze market trends, production figures, and consumer data to uncover the potential reality behind the myth. Are these lists truly an accurate reflection of demand, or are there hidden algorithms and allocation strategies at play? Join us for a fact-based exploration of the Rolex waitlist phenomenon. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, we encourage you to do so now to stay informed about our future videos. Today, millions of individuals globally are making New Year's resolutions. Undertaking this requires a dedicated commitment to change, as it reflects strength in acknowledging personal shortcomings and the need for transformation. This truth holds significant relevance across all sectors of the watch industry, encompassing manufacturers, authorized dealers, and gray market participants. In 2024, the watch industry must embrace and initiate the necessary changes for its evolution. The watch industry comprises various sectors, including manufacturers, authorized dealers, the gray market, and influential figures in social media and YouTube. To address the need for change in 2024, a crucial starting point is examining the gray market, particularly focusing on how gray market dealers should adapt. The events of the past year, marked by scandals and instances of dealers misappropriating funds or engaging in Ponzi-like schemes, underscore the necessity for a thorough grasp of financial fundamentals. There is a real danger of dealers not fully comprehending their liquidity strength and, unknowingly, participating in practices resembling Ponzi schemes. This situation can arise in an industry where substantial sums are exchanged, causing dealers to lose sight of their true financial position. To mitigate these risks and enhance stability in the gray market, a crucial step involves education and mentorship for dealers. By equipping them with a sound understanding of financial principles and prudent business practices, the industry can foster a more sustainable and responsible approach to operations, ensuring dealers make informed decisions. Many numerical concepts are intimidating, and with a lack of clear understanding of liquidity for purchasing new inventory, there is a need to get educated. This education is not only crucial for those in the gray market, but for businesses in general. Overcoming apprehensions about money and finance is vital. Abandoning consignment entirely would mean dealers operate solely with their funds, fostering a deeper sense of responsibility. Moving forward, another aspect to consider is the consolidation of gray market entities into larger companies. This strategic move could lead to increased stability and efficiency within the industry. Consolidation proves advantageous as it strengthens entities by combining forces. This assures clients that larger companies possess increased access to substantial funds, reducing the likelihood of financial instability. Furthermore, consolidation in the gray market implies reduced competition within the marketplace. When smaller companies join forces to establish larger entities, the number of players decreases. Consequently, there is less pricing pressure, potentially resulting in a positive shift for the gray market. This scenario suggests that with a few significant players competing against each other and fewer smaller companies, price fluctuations may occur at a more gradual pace than the rapid declines witnessed in the past 18 months. Looking ahead to 2024, another critical aspect that requires a change in the gray market is for the companies to embrace a salesmanship approach that will sustain their operations and sell watches, ensuring they meet their financial needs. However, it has become apparent that consumers, particularly in 2024, have become more discerning. There is a growing demand for transparency, honesty, and authenticity. Genuine interactions and straightforward practices are more likely to resonate positively with clients. In the context of authorized dealers in 2024, a critical issue that necessitates change is the prevalence of fake waitlisting. While legitimate waitlists are based on authentic demand that surpasses the supply of specific watches, there is an alarming trend of dealers engaging in deceptive practices. Even renowned brands like Rolex are not immune, with fake waitlisting becoming more prominent in 2024. This deceptive practice involves maintaining waitlists for watches that are readily available. Authorized dealers, either at the instruction of the brand or independently, perpetuate this misleading strategy, misrepresenting the true availability of certain models, such as the Rolex Datejust in 36mm or two-tone variants. Addressing and rectifying this fake waitlisting phenomenon is important for the industry's credibility and client trust. Consider a scenario where a solid rose gold sky dweller, now available on the secondary market, is priced either at retail or even below retail. 
In this situation, the watch no longer serves as a lucrative option for profiting, prompting flippers to withdraw their names from the waitlist. Despite its apparent availability, obtaining this watch remains a time-consuming process. Interested buyers still need to approach their authorized dealer, join a waitlist, endure several months of waiting, and eventually pay a higher price than the current secondary market value. What persists is a marketing tactic employed by authorized dealers, attempting to maintain the illusion of significant demand for this watch. This strategy aims to heighten the desire for the timepiece, despite its actual accessibility on the secondary market at a more reasonable price. This salesmanship approach is still in use and needs to be discontinued. This brings us to the next aspect requiring change within Rolex authorized dealers, specifically addressing the waitlisting process. Providing clear information about the availability and actual demand for certain watches will contribute to a more honest and trustworthy relationship with customers. In the realm of manufacturers, it is well known that setting prices falls under their responsibility. One significant concern that has been bothering us in the past couple of years, especially with the notable inflation in Europe and the United States, is the frequent occurrence of price hikes. Witnessing price increases every quarter has been quite unsettling. Traditionally, we were accustomed to an annual price adjustment, typically occurring on January 1st, with manufacturers implementing a modest increase of around 5%. However, the recent trend, exemplified by Rolex, has been far more aggressive, featuring three or four price hikes within a single year. Such rapid and incremental price adjustments run the risk of becoming counterproductive for these brands. This constant escalation in pricing, even if incremental, poses a significant risk to the long-term accessibility and appeal of these brands to their intended customer base. This brings us to the last aspect which requires change within Rolex authorized dealers, specifically addressing the waitlisting process. Transparency must be enhanced in the waitlisting procedure to eliminate any ambiguity. With the help of providing clear information about the availability and actual demand for certain watches will give a more prudent and long-lasting relationship with customers. We should implement a streamlined waitlisting process that allows users to easily access the Rolex website, log into the Rolex accounts, and check their position in the queue for a specific Rolex model. This system would provide users with a designated number or waiting time, indicating their placement and progress in acquiring the desired Rolex watch. Given the current technological advancements, implementing such a standardized process globally is entirely feasible. The proposed system would not only enhance transparency, but also streamline the overall waitlisting procedure. By embracing technology, Rolex can improve this aspect of its brand, eliminating any negative associations and reinforcing its commitment to a luxury image. What are your thoughts on the topic we shared in this video? We would love to see your comments and opinions in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, we would appreciate it if you let us know by leaving a comment and giving it a thumbs up. Do not forget to follow our channel for more content. Thank you for watching The Luxury World, and we look forward to having you join us in our upcoming videos.